Hey everyone, welcome to Five Idiots Talking Toys. Thanks for joining us on a special episode of our show. We're getting together tonight to remember Mark Dotson, share some thoughts and some experiences that we had with him. We got the unfortunate news just just yesterday, guys, right? Uh, or, yeah. or Saturday night. Uh, Mark Dotson, unfortunately, passed. He was uh, on the road, I think, to do a convention. Yeah, he... Uh, yeah in in indiana and it's funny uh, because i said to my wife i was telling her i i i'm friends with him on facebook and i saw him post in my feed that he was going to be in evansville indiana and you guys know uh, i'm a big don mattingly fan and I, the first thing that popped in my head is oh that's don mattingly's hometown like it just was a thing that popped into my head and then you know 24 hours later i'm, I'm getting the sad news that he's passed so um so we're here to just remember him uh we had some experience with him at the convention less than a year ago yeah super nice guy really sweet a funny guy a very personal guy uh, a guy that genuinely you could tell liked to rub elbows with the fans uh i think he took his celebrity in stride and 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 you know was not somebody that pictured himself to be somebody he wasn't he knew he wasn't an a-list celebrity but he was a celebrity that uh you know was special to us the fans of star wars the fans of gremlins uh these movies that we saw growing up and still watch to this day um brandon let me throw it over to you for a second because i, I was with you uh everybody was kind of spread out at one point and you and i were, were hanging together and we went up to mark dotson's table after well we can even run it back we you know we went to his table the day after hanging out with him the night before so uh i'll throw it to you and let you share some some memories um like you said a very personal little guy um definitely one that would hang out and you wouldn't even know he was a star wars uh, voice actor um until you'd start talking to him and you would hear his voice and he had that that voice that would be i mean he was the guy that did the uh, commercials for was it jack daniels or um Oh, some other Kentucky bourbon or whiskey. I can't I remember. I think it was Jack Daniels. Okay. Uh, he was a, a voice actor, and you could just voice tell actor. who he was by his voice. Um, and you would never know he was Salacious B. Crumb until he did the that cackle or that laugh uh, that he's famous for. And he also did Gremlins, and he also had a couple other voice parts as well. So... Um, and the, the thing that I that I know about him the most is is that fan interaction. I mean, every time I saw the guy, I would talk to him would be, you know, at the, at the bar there at the hotel mm -hmm. um, and catching up with him and just not even talking about Star Wars, but just talking about life in general and mm -hmm. and stuff that he's working on. And he was always quick to ask what, you know, what we've got going on. And he would ask us about the podcast and mm -hmm. and we always commented that we need to have him on. And, and sadly, we never did. Um, yeah. so, but that's the number one thing that about him was that he was about the fans and it was always, you know, he would get into, into the personal talk, never, never business, never anything that was, um, you know, he wasn't fake at all, you know, like some right. of these, some of these people are, um, and he knew us by the idiots. I mean, he would call us that when we walk by his table at the convention <laughs> and the idiots. It takes, you know you know there's a lot of people that, that walk around and and for him to recognize everybody from the night before and and just comment with people and and, and continue on with conversations that he had the night before or two nights prior to that that to me means something because he you know he he remembers that stuff and he, he, he gained some information or some meaning from those conversations with, with all of us. Um, and that's not something that, that a lot of people do. I mean, one day to the next, you know, you, you might walk up to somebody at a table and they're like, excuse me, who are you? And you're like, I yeah. just had a, an hour conversation with you last night. How do you not remember? <clears throat> yeah. Um, but that definitely wasn't him. I mean, he, he recognized us off the bat and, and, and was very kind to us. Um, and and very uh very real and a very true uh person so i mean that's the thing i'm gonna miss uh, the most about him was it he went to every show uh he was uh, one of the uh, original uh, ic con um talent 
you know, that was there representing at the show. And mm -hmm. he went to every show after that. And I remember um, the show that I met you guys at. Uh, he was there as well, and I remember getting an autograph from him there and talking with him there and, and then seeing him at the at the last show we went to where we had a little more interaction with him due to the podcast mm -hmm. um, and because of the hotel situation and because of the VIP situation mm -hmm. uh, and, and the vehicle situation that we were all part of. So we, we also did share some vehicle time with him as well. Yeah. And with, uh, right. with Shane's crush. Um, I mean, we're, we're VIP, Shane, if you want to talk so. to us a little bit about, you know, the uncomfortable vehicle ride we had. Oh, stop it. <laughs> where, you know, you, you were uh, drooling all over uh, this actress. False. Uh, <laughs> John was seated right next to me. He knows what the truth is. It was a very conciliatory uh, conversation. It was a very uh, sweet general uh, generally nice conversation well no i was gonna say you're right uh, chris let me let me j let you jump in but uh you're i was gonna say uh, as you were talking oh that's right the first interaction we had with him was in the van uh heading over to the convention and and we i, I know you had said you you met him previously i hadn't so that was my first interaction with him chris what were you well, gonna you, say you were, you were all about real quick you were all about you're like oh that's so and so from was it true blood or whatever yeah deborah yes. deborah ann wall from you're true like blood. that's deborah oh, true blood oh, yeah. oh my god oh my god and i'm like that's mark dodson that's <laughs> <Salacious Crumb." laughs> and i was like what i'm and sitting behind like, i'm deborah sitting behind saying salacious crumb you're like that's deborah ann wall oh my god i'm like i don't know who that is but i'm like yeah. oh, that's the guy that played salacious crumb that's yeah. who i want to talk to that's awesome <laughs> what i was gonna say was brandon mentioned how he wasn't like the typical celebrity where like he talked to people. He hung out with the fans. He actually interacted and like cared to know who you were. He wasn't like some stuck up individual. Mm -hmm. And our first interaction with him, or at least my first interaction, with, you know, with him, was being stuck at the hotel. We had no VIP bus to pick us up the day of the IC show. The bus was there to pick up Mark Dotson and the girl from True Blood, and the driver said to them do you mind if we take these five guys with us because they're stuck here? The bus never came. And they could have easily have said, no, we're celebrities. We're in a special car and whatever. Like they had to find their own ride. And they were like, absolutely have them hop in. Yeah. And we hopped in the car with them. And it was like, we, you talked to them the whole way. And like, they didn't care at all. It was like very nice of them. Mm -hmm. I, I, and I think, I think Dodson, the first thing he said was, are you guys talent? Yeah, I, Chris's Chris's story sounds so nice, but I think it's also funny to tell the real story. Chris, Chris just just misremembers. It's, he's not doing it on purpose, but that guy was looking for Mark Dotson and Deborah Ann Wall, yes, and he yeah. pulled up, and yeah. we were like, "Are are you the shuttle?" And he goes, "No, I'm not the shuttle. I'm here for the VIPs." And we were like. Yes. Dude, listen, we've been here for an hour and 20 minutes. We got to get over there. We have a podcast to record. And he's like, all right, I'm not supposed to do this, but jump in. So the reason why I'm telling this is the funny thing is we pile in the back and then we pull around the front of the hotel and the, the celebrities are waiting out front. They get in and they're like, whoa, who are you guys? Like they thought we were like you know guests and celebrities so it was just such a funny interaction because we were like well we have a podcast and they were like, oh what do you oh okay yeah what don't they you were... like it's like i was the return of the jedi yeah. i was been on true blood and got right. an academy of war for seven Daredevil. Years, and we're just five idiots in the back on a yeah. podcast well, chris was like i sit in my basement and i uh i have a giraffe <laughs> behind me a microphone <laughs> but it yeah. was it was, was very was, sweet though it was just Dustin funny was like seriously he had Looked over his glasses like, oh, yeah, yeah, are you yeah. guys, are you guys talent? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, it was very, very funny. And, and, uh, you know, we said we had a podcast, they thought we were like, you know, Joe Rogan or somebody, uh, <laughs> you know, who had a, an actual podcast. Uh, I think we mentioned that where we we're like, you ever heard of Joe Rogan? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're like, we're not like that, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, we heard of him too. That's all we wanted to know. You know Joe Rogan? <laughs> yeah, we're the complete opposite of that. Yeah. yeah, we are not Joe Rogan. Yeah, and you know it was it was a fun it was a fun experience. Just we were in the car for what? I mean, a, a good half an hour to get over oh, that yeah. place. But uh, I've said this before. My wife and I genuinely watched that show for like seven years. So it was something that you know it was nice to see somebody from a show that we really enjoyed, and then to learn you know somebody whispers to me, Salacious Crumb is sitting in front of me. I'm like, what? Yeah, I was like, you know, Gee, that's Salacious. I know, because you know Jedi is my <laughs> my you know my favorite, so I, I got a kick out of that right away. And he legit, I mean, turned twisted his body around to turn around and talk to us, and was talking to Deborah at the same time. Oh yeah, and it was just very sweet that it was just a normal conversation, you know, where we were got to be involved and um and and he. You know, they were talking to each other, and, and, and he, she said, well, are you still doing voice acting? And he, he was explaining, oh, yeah, still totally doing it. I set up a studio in my basement when COVID came around, and now the way things work, I just still work out of my home studio, and I can record. Very cool to hear that conversation. Um, and he was asking her if she's ever done any voice work, you know, just, just fun. And, uh, you know, that basically turned into later that night or the next night you know running into him as we hung out in the in the bar and in the hotel and uh brandon you know my favorite memory is he goes up to the bar and he's ordering a drink and i guess he orders some french fries french fries come out i ordered something around the same time he gets his french fries and brandon's like what do you got over there you know french fries and and he goes over to mark and mark like looks over his shoulder and he's like what do, what do you got over there? And I'm like, I, I, I just have some onion rings. And he just comes charging over. <laughs> yeah. he, he's like, I got to get some of those onion rings. And so, so we're, you know, we're, we're eating our snacks it the, together. It was the only and, good food at the hotel because the food yeah. was awful. Fries and the onion rings. Yeah, yeah. fries and onion yeah. rings. <laughs> so I, I have a video, John. I'm going to send you a video for uh, towards the end of this episode. And, and you'll see, I, I go to him the next day and I'm like, how you doing? I'm like, I don't have any onion rings for you. So don't ask, you know. And <laughs> we just start kicking off, picking up the conversation where we left off the night before. And uh, he was set up next to uh, Simon Williamson, who's uh, Max Rebo in the movie and uh, the puppeteer. And, and it was just great. I was able to get both of their autographs on a a photo for my son who has, has Max Rebo and Salacious Crumb in it. So it was just fantastic. Uh, and he is super sweet to all the people around. I mean, we were we we took our time. We stood in line. Everybody that was, you know, in line for his autograph. He was super sweet to them. Very nice. Um so I was just very sad to hear over the weekend and you know, my wife was nice about it. You know, she doesn't know him and and it wasn't uh, you know, somebody a name that everybody knows, but that hit me a little bit more than just your average, you know, celebrity that would come up in the news because I had just seen him, you know, 9 months ago. And uh, was super sweet. Got to hang with him. Um, you you know. stole your onion rings. Yeah, and yeah, you know I mean, what? Yeah, it was your your text message. Uh, your your PM on there was uh, that was the yeah. first that I'd heard of it, and that was very very sad. Um, yeah, I was at, so I was I was at Disneyland when you sent that, and I had um, literally had just been in Star Wars land, looking at the salacious crumb. You know the 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 stuff that they had there for them the stuffed animals and all that kind of stuff and i was just like damn you know and i was like i just thought it was funny it was like gone every once in a while i run into the picture that that we had you know and, and kyle just sent kyle uh a just sent me that picture uh, a couple months ago of me and and, and um uh, you know you know me and mark dodson there and and um i was like geez man yeah, like, and he was a young oh, guy. Like, like he's yeah, he was 64. 64. 64. Yeah. He's young. Yeah, he he had he's a younger than John. A, he's younger <laughs> than John. Yeah. <laughs> Appar apparently, he had you know a massive heart attack, and it, you know it sounds like it was you know it was while he was sleeping. Uh, yeah, you know, apparently hopefully. he was late coming down for breakfast. Uh, they were getting everybody breakfast, and he was late coming down, so they went to go check on him, and uh, they oh, opened yeah. his door, and he had, he was already gone, but. Um, very, very sad, very young guy. He was a, um, he's one of those guys that could take over a room, you know, with his voice and his, and his, and his personality and, and all that. So, uh, definitely a huge loss, you know, and you know, your, your message, when you sent that out, I was like, definitely it was a, a punch to the stomach. Yeah. Uh, seeing that he had passed. Cause I was like, man, cause 
you know, he was one of the guys that I was like looking forward to seeing at the next at yes, the next IC yes, show because yes. mm-hmm. yeah, I was like, yeah. oh, Mark's gonna be there. It's gonna be great. We're gonna hang out by the bar again, and we're gonna, you know, shoot the shit, and maybe we can get him on the podcast and just talk mm-hmm. with him or whatever. And he's such a great person uh, to be around. So definitely, it hurt yeah. a lot when uh, to, to find out that he had passed. I, I think John asked him. You know, uh, he was very polite. We but did he, ask he asked him to be on the podcast. In that one first car ride, and he yeah. he was yeah. like, absolutely, you know, give me your card, you know, it, we just didn't pull it together, unfortunately. But I mean, you know, he was happy to interact with anybody who was wanting to talk about Star Wars and and the fan, you know, the fans around these movies. And listen, Star Wars huge phenomenon, you know, fans all over the world. But you know, as we get older, we're running into people younger than us who are who are not star wars fans specifically or not as star wars fans to the level that we were as kids but another blockbuster franchise i mean who do you know under the age of you know or or i should say over the age of you know 30 who wasn't and isn't a a huge gremlins fan i mean yeah i mean he he did the voice of the mogwais some of the gremlins gremlins themselves um you know was a huge uh, uh part of that of those movies uh and uh fans all over the world i mean he's he's been to shows everywhere and and uh that's uh that's going to hit fans of both of these franchises big time and he's been he's still working he's his voice is all over stuff uh, that you don't you don't even realize the last thing i remember of him was whatever day it was might have been sunday we're walking through the convention and it was a little it was a little slow you know and in his alley of where he was sitting. And I remember walking by and I, I, I want to say I was with Brandon, but I could have been with anybody. And he just, <laughs> just, I'm walking and I look at him. He has his glasses. Like John said down here, he's like, Hey idiots. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you'll see Chris in the, uh, I didn't share it with you yet, but John will put it in here. The video that I have, uh, we walk, you know, we're, we're standing where you know, he's, he's signing for other people. And uh, he was nice enough to, you know, he didn't even charge me for the autograph. He's like, this is this is your payback for the onion rings last night, you know, for your son. <laughs> uh, but we walk up and he goes, he, he sees Brandon recording me at the table and he goes, this guy's an idiot, you know, and Brandon starts <laughs> laughing. And and then he tells me he starts telling me. He goes, there was this guy walking around the convention who looks exactly like you. And I'm like, what? He goes, you have a doppelganger here. And Brandon and I look at each other. And I think even you said, Brandon, I, who is that? We got to know who that is. And he goes, yeah, he walks up to the table just a few hours ago. And I go, you're an idiot. And the guy looks at me and he goes, what? And he goes, you're an idiot. And he goes, uh yeah i know ha 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 and he goes wait a minute you're not that guy and he goes no and he goes you're not the guy on the podcast and he goes no and he goes but i know exactly who you're talking about i get called him all the time and i'm like what that's why we're like we gotta find this guy yeah and so i'm telling my wife this last night you know reminiscing and i go can you imagine the stupid minuscule level of celebrity that i have at a given one show (laughs) that there's a guy walking around being mistakenly called me and he knows who i am like how how sad someone's faking being shane davison (laughs) So he he said he was kind of like mortified because he Shane Davidson here. We got Shane he, Davidson here. He called the guy an idiot to his face and it wasn't me, so he was all embarrassed. But we'll put that video up too. That was a fun interaction. Um so really sorry to hear about Mark, you know, uh yes. um uh thoughts and prayers with his family and friends. I know he was really loved amongst his community, so thoughts with everybody who became friends with him. Uh he was happy to connect with you. Uh, as a friend on Facebook and, and interact with you. So uh, a, real, a real loss for the collector community around Gremlins, especially, you know, for vintage and, and Star Wars. And he was just in so many different things. You know, take a look, look him up, learn a little bit about Mark and uh, the uh, the family that he leaves behind. It's just a, a sad story, but he was a fun-loving guy and he really enjoyed his career, it sounds like. And uh, we're going to miss him at the shows, that's for sure. We, we appreciate yeah. all his contributions to to these franchises and these uh, these parts of uh, pop culture that we love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, thanks for uh, for getting together and uh, getting to talk about our our newer friend that we're going to miss. And uh, it was great 
getting a chance to see him last year. So for everyone who uh, was a Star Wars fan, Gremlins fan, a Mark Dodson fan, uh, thoughts to everyone out there who's going to uh, miss our friend and we'll We'll continue to get together on this podcast and talk about the fun times at the conventions, which we know Mark enjoyed, and all the fun around the collecting hobby. So we will see you soon here on Five Idiots Talking Toys. Real. Thanks for following the channel. We appreciate it, and we'll talk to you soon. Real quick, um, yeah. before we sign off, he would always sign his um, Salacious Crumb photos with, you know, keep laughing. Yeah. So it's one thing to, to remember him by, you know, was that... that crazy laugh of salacious crumb and all yeah. that so just remember that <laughs> Rest yeah. just put a smile on your face you 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 could only know a person as well as you can know them you know how they want you to know them but when you saw him in these settings in the conventions at the hotels in and around fans he you could tell he loved to have a good time a good laugh so yeah so yeah. we'll we'll miss him for that for sure all right, everyone, we're going to drop the video in here now, John, or maybe you pieced it in earlier, however you want to edit it together. But hopefully everybody gets a chance to uh, to see our little fun interaction with Mark and uh, we'll remember, remember him that way. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great night. Bye bye. Thank you. Let the producers put all those in their computer. Thank you, sir. We can get this up. Remember all those fries we fed you the other night? Yeah. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you for that. You owe me. Oh. Oh, oh you owe him. All right. I'm paying up. I'm paying up. I'm paying up. Can you do orange over here? Is that orange will cost you. I'll do it in black for free. Oh. Yeah, I am. I'm a grown <laughs> I hope you're not recording. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know I'm sad. I'm <laughs> straight actor. I'll do this. Thank you so much. Yeah, you know I'm really sad. Good. And we're pressed. Just turned six on Star Wars. Oh. We were at the doctor. We're pressed. We're pressed. Oh, really? Yeah. I heard he does that, but I was. I know what you're doing here. I'm gonna try to work. Uh, so it's gonna be hard. Oh, I'll be the rest of his life. Oh, you have fun to do it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. didn't even notice it there. I'm like, oh, fun, yeah, it's the same. Because I'm so used to seeing it on. Can you make it work there on the side? Or, or? Yeah, I'm trying to do that. Thank you so much. So nice to meet you. Oh, you want it like to see that? Or, or like that? Like that. Like that. Is that fine? No, I need to go to my brain. Well, <laughs> Um, that's lovely. Are you there? I'm a collector. Best to do is whatever you think. All right, all right. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. What are you doing? How you doing? How are you doing? Good. I don't have any onion rings for you today. Why not? Uh, yeah. Do you know there's a guy with a guy? You're an idiot, right? No. <laughs> this guy's an idiot. You got, you got He's explain. an idiot. There's another idiot. There's we found idiot. a moron, too. Yeah. And a moron. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a guy that looks just like you. Yeah. And he walked over here yesterday. I said, you're an idiot. <laughs> and he goes, and I thought it was you. That's the show they do. What is it? Five, Five idiots talking toys. toys. Five yeah, idiots yeah. talking toys. Yeah, yeah. So there's a guy around here. I swear he looks identical. Yeah, and he so, walked over yeah. again. I'm like, you're an idiot. Oh, no. Well, but and he's like, he started laughing. And then finally, I realized you're not him, are you? <laughs> and he goes, no, but I know who exactly who you're talking oh, about. Oh yeah. And people do it to me all the time. Everybody sees me like you're an idiot. Who is that? I don't know. You, know, you gotta see him. I gotta find my doppelganger. Yeah. Yes, he is definitely. I'm not good. All right. Cool. This is for my son. Okay. Simon just did his first autograph ever for him, so you're gonna be number two. Right on. He doesn't have any autographs. <laughs> Orange? Yes. Um, can I, can I, well, his name is, uh, his name is Maddie. Maddie. M -A -T -T -E. M-A-T-T. But you put out a, a Salacious Crumb Pez and I had to get one and get some for my grandkids. And wow, this is just awesome. I love him.